everybody has their opinion about headphones. In-ear versus over-ear versus on-ear, wired or wireless, which are the most comfortable, which ones sound the best, and of course, which brands are the most worth the money. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog and techgadgetscanada.com, and I've tried a lot of headphones in my years as a technology blogger, and I can tell you which ones are in my top three or my top five, but that is a video for another day. I'm always excited, though, when I get a pair for review that look different and promise to sound great. Today, I've got the Marshall Monitor Bluetooth headphones. I'm going to tell you all about how they sound and some of their unique features. But first up, if you end up finding this video helpful and you like it, please mash that like button and give us a sub, since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. I got a major download of a bunch of new gear from Marshall recently, including three of their portable Bluetooth speakers, the Tufton, the Kilburn 2, and the Stockwell 2. And you can check out those reviews here on the channel as well. The other product I got to try out, of course, were these, the Marshall Monitor Bluetooth headphones. They are what I'd call a retro minimalist design. There is just the one button here on the side, and this copper-colored multifunction will do it all. From power to pairing, it can skip tracks and also control your volume. The Marshall Monitor headphones feel really solidly built and tough. The ear cups are rigid and firm, but not in an uncomfortable way. There's plenty of padding and they feel spongy. The band is also well padded and it holds the headphones tightly to my head. There's cool brass accents on the headphones and retro looking coiled wire. Overall, I love their looks. They also fold up quite small for their size so you can pack them too. To get the Marshall monitors paired, you'll push and hold the small copper button here on the left ear cup for about five seconds. And at first you're going to hear the sound of them powering up, but keep holding that button until you hear another sound. This indicates that the pairing mode is now active. Once you hear that second sound, go to your phone settings menu, then head to the Bluetooth settings, and then you'll see the headphones pop up and you can click to connect. Now let's get straight to the reason you're all here. How do these sound? In short, really, really good. 40 millimeter dynamic drivers are custom tuned to deliver all encompassing hi-fi sound, according to Marshall. Here's my take. The Marshall Monitor headphones have great bass. It sounds really resonant and strong, but not head poundingly so. You can easily hear subtleties, things like breaths in the music or the sweep of brushes on a cymbal. The overall sound is really well balanced and head filling. The noise isolation also offered by these fat plushy ear cups lets you focus on the music and not on outside distractions. These headphones will get plenty loud. At about 65 or 75% volume, they were loud enough to block out any outside sound, but still at a comfortable, albeit loud, listening level. Now, if you want to check out the playlist I used to test these out, I've got it posted at blog.bestbuy.ca. The wireless connection on the Marshall monitors also seems really strong. I wandered all over my house wearing these and left my phone in my home office, and there was never a dropout, not even a crackle. Marshall clearly put a lot of thought into keeping the design of these headphones clean and streamlined. The small copper multifunction button is the chameleon of buttons. Push it in to power it on or pair, click it up or down to adjust the volume, side to side and you're skipping tracks. A quick press when there's an incoming call will answer it, then hang up, and a double press sends it to voicemail. The same quick press during music playback will pause the sound, yet these controls are simple yet natural and intuitive. Marshall promises 30 plus hours of battery life on a single charge, and I can definitely say the battery was really long lasting. I used these headphones on and off over about two weeks and never needed to recharge them once. If you do need to charge them up though, you can connect the micro USB that's included in the box and then wait for the light to turn white. Marshall advises that about two hours of charge on these should get you about eight hours of use, so to get these babies full does take a while. Now, after your initial pairing, the Marshall Monitor Bluetooth headphones will reconnect to that same device once you power them on again. I found this worked really well, though I was a bit disappointed to see that they couldn't be connected to more than one device at a time, like my iPhone and my tablet, for example. There's definitely a lot to love with these headphones. The retro looks and style are cool, plus I like the fact they fold down for travel and that the ear cups provide additional noise isolation thanks to the squishy padding. The multi-function button is also genius and the sound quality is outstanding. 
Are there any cons to these headphones? Well, yes, you do need to watch your fingers on these hinges. They are metal and will pinch you real good if you don't take care about how you're opening them and where your fingers are. The headphones are also pretty pricey. The Marshall Monitor headphones sell for about 349 Canadian dollars. And I think at this price level, there are other headphones out there that'll sound just as good for a lot less dough. But if you like the looks of these, you've got the budget and you want great sounding headphones with great connectivity, you can't go wrong with the Marshall Monitor Bluetooth headphones. You can pick up a pair from Best Buy, of course, and you can also read more about them at blog.bestbuy.ca. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. I'm Erin. Thanks for watching. You can catch me on Twitter or Instagram until the next time at Erin You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.